Hello students, you're instructed here, John Medula with another screencast, this one in Premiere, and I have this just basic and simple dumb animation with a square in the background. Now what I want to do is just play this with text and animate that as well. So I'm going to go to Title and create a new title, Default Still, and I'm just going to call this Random, hit OK, and I'll get my you know, title tools available to me, and I'm just going to make this real quick. Random, of course, that font is garbage, so I'm going to change it to... This and that. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now, I'll just leave this white for now. But let's say I want to apply some effects to this. So I'm just going to take, uh, I can actually leave that alone, and take random and bring this up on the video to track right there. And I want to do some things. So I might want to look into some of these video effects or maybe some of presets and this one's called twirls that sounds a lot of fun and maybe a, a twirl in I'm just gonna bring this on drag it immediately on random in my timeline here and if I go through this I scroll through this I can see it's gonna twirl and do this kind of thing and come in okay now if I go to my effects controls you can see there's twirl it's already opened up for me actually the twirls right there I can uh, see all the keyframes, everything that made that effect possible. And I can also fully adjust any of these. Okay, so let's say at this point, you know, maybe I want the twirl radius to be, let's say, really small, like that. Okay, and so when it animates, it's actually going to be, you know, like that, maybe a little bit more dramatic even. And with all these things going on, let's say I like all that, and I can leave that alone, and close it up, and I can still do things like, you know, my basic ones that are under motion, like scale and position and opacity and things like that. So I think what I'm going to do is do position. I'm actually going to start this uh, up here, and then that's at that point, and then bring this over. And it doesn't really matter if you use this playhead or this playhead. Let's say I get it to this point right here, and then I'm just going to bring that thing straight down. All right, like this. I can see that if I scrub through this now, see how it's swirling, and then it gets to there. So I think, oh well, I wanted that to be lower to see more of that swirl happen. So I can just drag this over like that. So now what's going to happen is I scrub through it, twirling into place, and it's like that, and that's cool. And I think, okay, that's cool, but what I really want is a scale to be, let's say, like this. But then as it as get near the end of this, I want it to scale to be much smaller. Like that, for whatever reason. And maybe also what I want is the opacity to adjust. So uh, the opacity is cool till there. Then as this gets smaller and smaller, I want this to get faded away. So now what I can see is it's going to swirl in, or twirl in, I'm sorry, and hold it for a moment, and then it's going to decrease in size and fade away with transparency. So all these things are available to you. Again, use these presets, these effects, these things that, like that as just a starting point. You can edit them fully. Uh, you can also add other effects to them if you want. So if I you know, want some kind of color thing to go on, and maybe I want to, I don't know, have some kind of color emboss. You know what I mean? I can see what that'll do to my text. Maybe this doesn't do anything yet to play with some of the settings, but you get the idea. Okay, or maybe I want to do four color gradient. Sounds fun. There we go. Maybe that's what I want. I can get rid of the emboss here. I'm just clicking on hitting delete. So now it's coming in there and it's got all these crazy colors and it fades away. So you can have multiple effects or presets applied to the same thing and you can also fully edit them once they are applied. So just remember to have a purpose with them. That's how you can use them in Premiere. And remember you start with title, new title still, and you can add effects from there by searching in your effects panel and go from there. That's all I got. Goodbye.